Welcome back to another This Week in Warframe. This is going to be for the week of June 9th through the 16th. And let's check out what all the daily resets are, or weekly resets are for this week. Reminder, stop by the Sanctum Anatomica, visit Bird 3, go to Shiny Treasures, and grab yourself the Archon Shard that he has, which this week is an Ember Archon Shard. From here, we're going to go check out what the Necroloid has for Deep Archimedia. It looks like we've got... Oh, mirror defense, an alchemy, and a survival. Whoop de doo! Visiting Teshin, we can check out the Steel Path Honors and see that he has a Kit Gun Riven mod for 75 Steel Essence and a Veiled Riven Cipher for 20 Steel Essence. How much platinum have you made since you've become a Patreon? Over 100k. Uh, 45k. 60, 70,000. Uh, 20,000. What's the most amount of platinum you've made in a week? 12k. Probably about 5,000. Uh, 5,400. Probably 8k. What's the most amount of platinum you've made in a day? 5,400. Day was probably 4k. Probably about 3,000. 2k. What's your favorite method of making platinum that you've learned from me? Mostly just flipping ribbons and selling warframes. Probably arbitrations. Selling sets of warframes. I enjoy Zeramon the most. Imagine how much time and money they've saved. You know where the links are. Checking out the weekly alerts we've got going on. We have Thermia Fractures with, the, with another 9 days and 15 hours left. We have the alerts, so for a reminder to do Maru's weekly Ayatan treasure hunt. We have Invasions, which currently, at this moment, don't have really anything important. We have Interception, Exterminate, Interception, Spy, Excavation, and Void pl Flood for Steel Path Incursions. For the sortie today, it was a mobile defense rescue and mobile defense. The Archon Hunt this week is going to be with Amar, and this is for a Crimson Archon Shard. We'll be doing a mobile defense interception and showdown. If we check out Nora's weeklies, we have the usual kill 500 enemies, complete 15 missions, kill 30 X misses. We also have free one captured Solaris using a Granum Crown, complete a survival mission reaching at least 20 minutes. Complete four different bounties in the Zeramon, pack 10 consoles, and kill 150 enemies with corrosive damage. If we check out her rewards here, then we're going to see that she's got Wild Frenzy for the Gracatas, Corrosive Projection Aura, Physique, Dreamer's Bond, Deadly Maneuvers for the Magnus, and Sprint Boost Aura. So Corrosive Projection, Physique, and Sprint Boost are definitely going to sell a lot. Dreamer's Bond probably is going to sell a lot. This is... uh has not been available for all the past night waves this is fairly new as an aura mod so the fact that i don't own a lot of extras to sell is not a sign of whether or not this is going to be popular or not i would say you can grab these and you'll probably find people that don't have it and are willing to pay for it and if we scroll down we'll see purifying flames for ember singularity for nyx power of three for ivara and skull shots for the viper now, let's check out what's going on in Daviri here. So, on Steel Path, the circuit this week, we have the Torrid Incarnan, Dual Toxis, Dual Icker, the Miter, and the Atmos. And I certainly recommend getting a Torrid. If you don't have this yet, it is a blast. It is lots of fun. Uh, the, the, all of these are good. All of them are good, so pick whatever else you'd like after that. And then if we scroll over here, we'll see you could also choose a Rifle Pistol Melee Riven or 20,000 Kuva. And, as far as the normal circuit options goes, we've got Saren, Vauban, and Nova as choices. Akrethis this week has her usual things, plus she has Longbow Sharpshot today for 20 Pathos Clamps, and a Roken Catalyst Blueprint for 20 Pathos Clamps, an Exilus Weapon Adapter for 20 Pathos Clamps, a Companion Riven Mod for 20 Pathos Clamps, and I guess an extra thing of 5,000 Kuva. Ooh, ooh. Reminder to stop by Archimedean Yanta this week and grab yourself 35,000 Kuva for 5 Void Plume Pinions. And if we check out everybody's favorite suppository, we'll see that his merchandise this week is a Tenant Ferox with 30% Radiation, you can skip that. Tenant Grigori with 28% Magnetic, you can skip that. A Livia with 40% Impact, you can skip that. An Exec with 35% Radiation, you can skip that. And a Tenant Agendus with 30% Magnetic, you can skip that. It looks like we have four days left until the next rotation, so if there are any of those mods, or if there are any of those weapons you need, you can check them out in four days. Paladino this week at Iron Wake. Reminder to stop by, use your 10 Riven Slivers to grab yourself a rifle, or a Riven mod, and then do it again with 10 Riven Slivers. 
for another Riven mod. Also, 35,000 Kuva for 10 Riven Slivers, and 150,000 credits for 5 Riven Slivers. Invigorations are going to be different for everybody, but here's a reminder to check them out. This week I've got a Banshee with plus 250% secondary damage, plus 1,000 health, a Baruch with plus 200% melee critical chance, plus 200% energy max, and a Neja with plus 250% melee damage, plus 25 heal rate. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the follows, thank you for the subs, thank you for the Patreons and all that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you uh, have a great day. Oh yeah, Borrow is coming this Friday. Totally forgot to say that earlier, but Borrow is coming this Friday, so get excited for that. And uh, I'm live every day on Twitch. Come hang out.